All right, so this is my friend's bike. Um, about two weeks ago, we went to the track, and uh, on its second session, the, the bike just started, you know, it started losing power while he was out on the track. And uh, we're gonna take a look at it and see what's wrong with it. What he was telling me is that uh, when he was uh, when he was going full speed, the bike just practically stopped. And he, slow, and he lost power and he came off the track and um, you can hear it when, uh, when it's on I'm gonna give it a quick turn and you can hear the, the engine just kind of like you know struggling it doesn't have much power it's, and uh, he said it's not uh, rideable so we're gonna diagnose it with I'm pretty sure it could be maybe a spark plug it could be maybe an ignition coil but I'm gonna check the the compression on, on each cylinder see if the, the rings went bad or or anything else in the internal so we're going to take a look at it and see what we can find so yeah this is an 08 i think it's an 08 or 09 gx 600 it's pretty nice we love this bike it's beautiful as you can see so we went to uh, NYST here it is NYST uh, track in New York it's a pretty fun track a lot of friends of ours came through and it was a pretty pretty fun day it was a bad day for him because his bike just gave up on the second session and whoever been there, you know the second session is pretty much when you start racing. Since we're novice, you know. This was, this was actually his second time going to the track. And uh, my, my uh, that's my bike right there. It was my third time. So me and my brother and all the friends, we had a lot of fun. But for him, unfortunately, you know, by game, gave up. So it wasn't as much fun for him. Because you know, when you go to the track, it's a... Uh, it's an awesome time, it's fun, it's so like you know it's something that you couldn't really explain it because you gotta be there, you gotta like bikes, you gotta feel that adrenaline. So you know, for those who haven't been to the to the track yet and who likes bikes, I um uh, I recommend you to maybe you know take at least try it once, see if you like it, but I'm sure you're gonna like it. Because since you know everybody says after the first time you go you get addicted to it and it's true because you know my first year I thought it was gonna be one time this year and this is my it's already my third time that I went and I'm thinking about going back before the end of this year so yeah so hope you guys like this video and See the process of me hopefully getting this bike back to normal and hopefully we can find the problem. So this is the problem.
second cylinder we're gonna test. We're gonna test the compression. See how how it looks. So far it's good. So we we'll, we hope to to keep good news. Seems to be good as well. So we only got one last one to check. So everything seems to be good so far. So we hope to find the last one in good condition as well. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Last cylinder. So we're gonna see how it looks like. Hopefully it's good as the others. So those are good news. There is no compression. Uh, most in the inside of the engine so I'm pretty sure it's one of the spark plugs well the spark plugs they look already shot so we're gonna change the spark plugs definitely so and also I have to check the the ignition coil one by one so we're gonna check the, the sparks see if the coils the ignition coils are working so I can do is uh, I'm gonna put a screwdriver right inside of the ignition coil where the spark plug goes. I'm gonna make a ground right here on the on the shoulder body. Just gotta be close to it. Maybe you guys can see it. Hopefully the camera catches it. Alright, go ahead. Okay. We got spark. I don't know if the, if the uh, camera will be able to catch it, but we got spark. So, I don't know, maybe I think um, when I took the spark plugs out, I noticed they were kind of loose. So maybe they were losing, I mean, the, all, the, all, the, um, all the spark plugs were loose. So maybe it was losing compression from, from the spark plugs for not being tight enough. So I'm thinking, as you guys saw, I checked the, the initial coil, see if they have spark by grounding the the screwdriver to, to ground which was the throttle body and they had a spark but it's hard to see how much spark each coil has but I checked them all again and they all seem to be fine what I did was uh, to make sure all of them they were they were good I swapped them because I turned the, I turned the, 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 uh, the bike on and uh, when the bike was on I unplugged each initial coil to see if what would be the difference by unplugging them and see if the if the bike would die or if you could hear any difference on the engine just by unplugging it and uh, we had the conclusion that um, one of the spark plug was bad okay, we're going back we're going to the auto parts store to get some new spark plug for this baby and see you guys back
right, so we got the spark plugs. Going back home, put them on, and we'll be all set. See you guys back at the, at the shop and where the bike is. Fire plugs and we started while we had it on time lapse, just to be running smooth like it's supposed to. And uh, I will start it right now, but we have we took the tank off so we have more space. And we also wanted to check the air filter. As you can see, it's shut, it's really bad, it's clogged. So I called my friend and I uh, wanted to ask him and see if he wanted to change the air filter. Just to, uh, I just want to wait, see what he says what kind of filter he wants. Maybe he goes for the K&N performance air filter. Uh, this is the original air filter that comes with the bike from factory. So it's really bad, as you can see, it's already clogged. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait for him to tell me, see if he wants to change it, so I can put it back together. Because I don't wanna put it back, put back together and take everything apart again to get to the filter. You know what I mean? So. I just, uh, I'm just gonna wait for him when he says, then we can put it back together, start it, and so he can take it home and keep enjoying his baby right here. I know he misses her a lot, so everything's running smooth so far. So uh, we finally got there filter after waiting for a few days, and he decided to go with the K&N performance air filter. It's gonna be a really good uh, upgrade. I'm gonna put it all back together now and uh, we'll be taking it home soon. So enjoy the rest of the process, putting it back together and I'll show you the, the finished product. Bike is all set. You can hear it better now. It sounds smooth. That's how it's supposed to sound. So I'm happy that it's back to normal now. You can go back and ride it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. 